the golden age of racing is over. And for Russell Drummond, it's heartbreaking to see what's become of his beloved racetrack. But it wasn't always this way. So the history of Capital City Speedway started at Lansdowne Park. It was there in the late 50s. The uh, facility was uh, where the football field is at the, tra at the uh, Lansdowne Park. The City of Ottawa thought there was too much noise made by the stock car racing, so they had to find a new home for Capital City Speedway. We, we bought the track, oh, it's got to be 10, 12 years ago now. We had the drag strip put in and uh, uh, we had a, a couple of entrepreneurs that were running the tracks. We, were, we're, we being in the fuel business, a little bit too busy to, uh, to run the track ourselves. And uh, so we always had an entrepreneur in there running the tracks. And Russell isn't the only one affected by the Speedway's shutdown. An old friend of his and former pro stock car racer, Ken Baird, was sad to see a track so close to home shut down, especially one with such fond memories. Uh, when, I was, when I turned 16, I had my own uh, car and I would come out here and watch the races. You know, you'd see, hear the ads on the radio and come out Wednesday nights and watch the races. They had this uh, series called Enduro Series and uh, the guy who was putting it on would uh, tempt everybody with the ads in the, uh, in the auto trader and uh, the newspaper would say, you think you can drive? Come on out and prove it. And uh, come to a 100 lap Enduro race. So we, we decided to put a car together for, for one of those. Uh, I started racing here in the 90s in the Enduro racing. Raced those for a couple of years and then moved up to pro stock cars in uh, 1993. They would have all the local drivers that competed on a weekly would be in here and they'd have traveling um, drivers that would come and it would make the, uh, the field of cars a lot bigger and that would attract a lot of people and it was fun because uh, it led all the um, people that never really raced before have a chance to get into try racing on a low budget. Uh, in one of the heat races I was uh, passing on the outside one of the guys on the inside slipped up and uh, it had no more room. Uh, flipped upside down and uh, spun around a few times. Landed back on its wheels, but uh, was completely destroyed. That was fun, yeah. yeah. Had a good roll cage. Yeah, it was pretty exciting. Um, you know, the stands full, the fans cheering. You know, the lots of race cars, uh, banging fenders, and uh, you know, if you just if you were if you happen to be lucky enough to win. Uh, you could stop at the start finish line and uh, get out of the car and, and wave to all the fans and accept your prize and the cheap fans would be cheering or booing and uh, yeah, it, was a, it was a great experience. Yeah. During the uh, uh, early 2000s it was starting to dwindle down a bit and, and there would be a new promoter that would come along and it would generate some excitement and people would come back and then it would kind of dwindle down but over the last I would say five years or so it, it's just been a constant kind of uh, lower number of fans and you know it's a crying shame because you can't get uh, any closer to car racing than being in the stands watching the excitement smelling the racing fuel hearing the squealing of the tires and just having a beautiful summer night out we've had some vandalism done at the site by uh, some uh, uh, cowardly people and um, yeah, it's just a shame. It, they've done some, some damage here. It seemed like it might be closed. The promoter decided he wasn't going to continue running the, the track after 2013. It was so nice to be able to come here uh, after work on a Wednesday night and race and be home by midnight. And, you know, to race anywhere else, it's a, it's a, a trek. You know, it's three or four hours and uh, you're gone for practically two days to go to, to, go, to, go to a race. So yeah, it's, it's pretty disappointing. Racing. Like I, like I said before, at one time it was you, you could only go out to a track to watch racing. 
now you want to you want to look at racing well google it up and there it is so it's become too handy and uh, i think that's hurt the sport there's a lot of good people you get to meet racers pit crews uh fans that have come out and uh you know i've really enjoyed the the time and uh, and, and everything that, that went on with the track uh, for sure for sure it was a great time